Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to copy files within a Google Colab notebook. We will use two methods to do this. The first is going to utilize Linux commands, while the second method is going to utilize Python programming. What I'm going to do first is import the Python modules we'll work with, which include Shetel and OS. Now that we have those imported, let's take a look at the files that we'll work with. Within Google Collaboratory, we have this files folder. I'll click it here. And we are going to copy files from this sample data directory. I am going to click on this. We can see that we have different file types, including markdown, JSON, and CSV files. What I'm going to do first is call a Linux command called cat. And this is going to print out the contents of one of our files. So we'll start with an exclamation point, then we are going to call the command cat. Next, I need to input the path of the file that we are going to print the contents of. The way that we do this within Google Colab is we can hover over the file, we can copy the path, and I'm going to paste it here, run the command, and we can see that we have the contents printed out here. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to create folders that we are going to copy files into. The way that we'll do this is this is another Linux command. We are going to start with an exclamation point. We are going to call mkdir. This is going to create our files. And then I need to put each of the folders here. Now that I've refreshed, we can see that we have our folders here. Now we can move into actually copying files. And we are first going to use Linux commands, specifically the cp command for copy. And I am first going to create a copy of the readme file, which is in our sample data directory. And we are going to copy it into our content folder, which is right underneath all the directories. We can't see it because it just holds the directories themselves. But once we copy the file, it will become obvious. Like other Linux commands, we are going to start with the exclamation point followed by CP. Then I need to give the path of the file that contains the readme. So we are going to go into sample data. We are going to copy the path again, paste it here for our first parameter, and we are going to copy it into our content folder. So all we need to specify for the second parameter is the contact content directory name. Once I run this and I refresh, we can see that we copied the readme file here. And we can also cat it just to make sure, like before, we start with an exclamation point, cat, copy the path, paste it. And we can see that we have the same information. We can just compare our cats. We can see it's the content readme compared to content sample data readme, showing that we were able to successfully copy the file. Next, we can see how we can copy multiple files or all the files from one directory to another. I'm going to take all the files from sample data and copy them into this method one directory. Like before, we are going to start with an exclamation point filed by CP. Then we are going to put in a dash A. Dash A stands for archive. Then like before, we need to first put in the directory that contains the files. We are going to copy the path, paste it here. I need to add a forward slash and a period to include all the files. Then I need to specify the directory that we are copying into. I'm going to copy the path here, paste it as our second parameter, run this, refresh, and we can take a look to see that we have successfully copied it over and we have. Finally, what we are going to do is we are going to conditionally copy files. In this case, I want to take all the CSV files and copy them into our conditional directory here. And I am first going to start with the bash command. And this is a magic command that will let us run a mini bash script within our Google Colab cell. We'll call percentage sign percentage sign followed by bash. And then I am going to type out the code, then explain it. To explain the code, first we are going to create a variable called directory, and this contains the path to our sample data directory that has all of our files. Next, we are going to start a for loop and iterate over all the files in our sample data directory. And we are going to do the following, where we take a look at each of the files, and if we have a CSV extension in the file, 
then we are going to copy the file into our conditional directory. We also have to include this fi or fee here for our conditional statement. And then we need to complete our loop with a done. And we can see that we copied it over here and we have our CSV files in our directory. Moving on, we are going to copy files with Python. Specifically, we will focus on the shootil module. And we will first copy a single file like we did before with our Linux commands. This time I am going to take the housing test CSV and copy it into our content folder. Like before, I am going to copy our path and I am going to first call shootil, then I am going to call the dot copy function. The first parameter I am going to put in is the path to the housing test.csv. And then for our next parameter, what I am going to do is put in the directory that we want to copy to. In this case, it is going to be the content folder. Once I run this and I refresh, we can see that we successfully copied the file into our content directory. Next, what I'm going to do is take a look at this data real quick. We can call a Linux command called head, and I am just going to take a look at the first column. So I'm going to put a dash one, and then I am going to copy the path. And we can see that we have the columns from the CSV file. Next, what I want to do is I want to, like we did before in Linux, copy all of the files from sample data to method two, and we will call shootil again. And this time we are going to call copy tree. This is going to copy all of our files from our source directory, which is going to be sample data again. I am going to copy the path, paste it here. Then what I want to do next is I want to give it the destination. In this case, it's going to be the method two folder. Copy that, paste it here. And we have one more parameter we need to input. Since we already have method two the, for the directory for method two created, we need to specify that the directory exists. And it's a parameter called there's exist okay. And we need to set that equal to true. Once I run that, we can take a look and see that we have successfully copied all the files from sample data over to method two. And then like before, we are going to also write a conditional statement. In this case, I want to grab all the non-CSV files. So this would include the markdown file and JSON file. And we will write a Python if statement for this. Like before, I am going to create a variable. In this case, I'll call it source directory, and I am going to take that from sample data. From here, I am going to iterate over the files. I will say for file in, and in this case, we are going to create, call a, another Python module called OS, and it is going to be the lister function, which is going to list all of the files in a specified directory. In this case, it's going to be our source directory. Now that we are iterating over all the files in our source directory, I am going to put an if statement in and say if CSV is not in file, so this will grab both the markdown file and the JSON file. And I'm going to call shootil.copy. I'm going to use a format string, so I'm going to start with F then quotation marks, then I am going to do curly braces source directory, then I'm going to put a slash and then curly braces again and file. So this source directory will specify the directory it's in and then the file will just be the file name. And then I am going to save these or copy these into our conditional directory and we can just take the actual path itself, and we are going to copy that. Once we run this, let's bring up our conditional directory, and we can see that we have successfully copied the markdown file and JSON file into our conditional directory. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching, and happy coding.